Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day and I'd like to add to that. So before I start this video, I want to do a quick shout out to the apples of my eye, the four subscribers that just subscribed. You guys, thank you so much. That honestly, that means a lot to me and I'm excited for you guys to be graced with my face every time I post a video. I'm not pain. Anyway, so this video I wanted to do something a little bit differently than I had normally planned. Um, I want to do a product review. And the reason I want to do a product review is for those people that are starting to work on their Instagram, uh, putting more effort into it, wanting to be a brand ambassador, which, congrats, that's awesome. Um, that is, it's a huge, exciting journey and I wish you guys the best of luck but while you're on this journey I want to make sure that you guys look out for at least one company that um, I I fell for so I started working on my Instagram a month ago and um, I was at 330 followers and when I got to 400, I was really excited because I had been spending, like, before, before really putting effort into my feed. I spent months trying to find the right filter. What is my aesthetic? What is my theme going to be? Oh my goodness. I'm still there. I'm still confused. I'm starting to figure out who I am and where I'm going. But at the time, I was completely lost. And when I had finally gotten to 400 followers, that was super exciting because I dropped followers when I first started because I was posting once a day. Now I'm up to two times a day, once in the morning and once at night. But um, um, I was just doing once a day. And so I dropped in followers. I dropped 20 followers and then I went up to 400, uh, which was really, honestly, it was super exciting. And thank you for whoever's following me. That means a lot because I would not have any sort of platform at all if there weren't people who were somewhat kind of interested in my feed. So thanks, guys. Um, yeah, so when I got to 400, I had been doing a lot of research on brand ambassadors, um, companies that are looking for small, small uh, pages, small feeds to have as a brand ambassador. Because 400 to me seemed like a lot, but 400 in the grand scheme of how many people are using Instagram, which I think is like 800 million, <laughs> um, yes, you're a good girl, 800 million, 400 is a small amount of followers, um, so after doing all of that research and having um, my following growing, there was this company that I forget if they reached out to me or I reached out to them, but I saw, I remember seeing an ad on Instagram. Um, basically, it was for this eyewear company, and they were looking for brand ambassadors, and you didn't have to have a huge following to be a part of their team, which I was super excited about. I just wanted to get my foot in the door and this seemed like the company for me. So I, I clicked on the link, uh, I reached out to them or whatever, I'm sorry, whatever happened and I got an email back from them saying that I had been accepted to their program and that if I bought the ambassador kit um, within a certain amount of time then for life I would have 60% off of every item or something like that, 50%, um, and I'm like, yes, get me involved. So I was like, yeah, absolutely. Um, I answered yes, I followed their instructions, I bought the product, the ambassador kit was buy one pair of glasses, get three free, and with those glasses I could sell them or I could give them away, and um, all I had to do was post once a month of their product, of me wearing them, or in a story, and 
tag them in the post or the story, which is pretty standard for every company. <sighs> so, bought the product. I think I spent 60, between 60 and 80 dollars on the one pair of glasses with the three free, and I'm like, if I'm getting three pairs of glasses for free, that's totally worth it because each pair of glasses was between 50 and 80 dollars, I think it was. So I was like, yeah, awesome. That's a huge deal. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. So first off, it took forever. It took forever for the glasses to come in. And mind you, there was the holidays, and there's also this post problem going on in Canada. This um, There's a protest, protesting thing going on in Canada right now for the post, um, which I don't really think has affected me at all, because uh, I'm still getting my mail, I'm still getting things that I ordered. So I think it might have just been the company. It took a very long time. It took a month for this this box to come in. I've got Raylan sitting on my lap, so um, don't mind. I'm going to keep her entertained as much as I can while I keep you guys entertained, hopefully. So the box finally came in. It came in two days ago. And, okay, I wanted to do a clickbait title where it said, Unboxing of said product. But the truth is, I've already opened the box. I opened it as soon as I walked out of the post office. And that'd be lying, and I don't really want to lie to you guys. And that's not how I want to start this off. So it's not technically an unboxing, but I am going to open the box, show you what's inside, take each item out, and walk you through my second reaction of the glasses. I looked at it once. I looked at it quickly, though. So, I opened the box, okay? Box is, it's just a standard cardboard box, nothing special. But as you can hear, now, as I said, I've already opened everything, so I've got the nice, unnecessary plastic sitting on the top so that I can show this to you first because I'm in the process of decreasing the amount of waste that I am producing and using and what is this? What is this? There's no need for it. These boxes, the little boxes, were wrapped in plastic. Then the inside the glasses case there was plastic and then the glasses were also, they were covered in this foamy plastic, well, it's not foam, it's just plastic. So let me just tie this up a little bit. Okay, so let me pull out the first box. Dun da da dum, that is right. <coughs> I don't know if you've heard of this company before. I certainly hadn't until I found the ad. Um, but it is... She's got plastic. Let me just find her something else that's not as loud. Thank you. What's this? What's this? What's this? Yay! Okay, so let's just... That would be Drax. Um, box, right? It's a nice cardboard box. It's soft. It's black. Minimalist. I love the way that this looks. Honestly, I love this box. Except, it's hard to open. And one of my thoughts is, if it's so, like, you know, it's pretty sealed, why is it wrapped in plastic? How does that keep this box safe? Seriously. That's so pointless. Raylan, please don't push this box. I gotta move this. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Um, okay. Here's... No, 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 no. Leave it. 
Drax, 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 come here, come here, come here. This is, that's Drax. Then, um, ugh, there's a, there's a Ziza. TV's on. I've got like a selfie stick jammed into the cush, the couch, <laughs> the couch cushion because I ain't, I ain't rich. So, Abella, look at this glasses case. Like, that's nice. It's a nice glasses case. It's solid, it's sturdy, it's safe. Again, minimalist. I love the black. I love the silver. It's been, it's a pressed in label. I think it's beautiful. <clears throat> and then on the inside, we've got this beautiful. Hey, you, stop it. God damn. If you guys are ever considering, hey, let's get a pet. Just get one. Don't get three. Don't have three cats in a small apartment. What was I thinking? I wasn't. That's the answer. I was not. Nope. Stay here, sweetheart. Stay here. Yes, hi. So then, so you saw the bag, right? Which is, it's, uh, again, same style, black, silver label. Uh, it's soft and standard bag. Good quality. I don't have any problems with it at all. And then you have their glasses cleaner um, cloth as well. Pretty standard glasses cloth cleaner thing. She's got one right here. Look at that. Yay. Um, so for packaging, besides the plastic, but the actual the actual Abella packaging, I give it, honestly, I give it like an 8, 9 out of 10. I, like, I love black. I love silver. There's nothing else going on but the name. It's straightforward. This is who we are. And it's, it's nice, right? Okay, so, do, 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 do. What are these? Oh, yes. Okay. Oh boy. All right. So these aren't they don't look too bad on the camera. But in person like I don't know. You can hear that they're plastic. They're very plastic. The clear part is plastic and the lens Is plastic as well. The ends, normally if it's like a, a you know a real genuine, because this is like metally plastic, I don't know what kind of material this is, but when it's really that genuine plastic, it's rounded and it's soft. But when it's metal or whatever kind of material that this happens to be, normally the edges are wrapped in a silicone or plastic so that it protects your ears and the sides of your head. I'm just going to sit her down. Uh, where did your cloth go? Here. <laughs> oh, bless you. So, okay, immediately, this side's not as bad. This side's kind of rounded. But this side, the edge is, like, cutting the side of my head open. So this is what they look like. You can see yourself. Look at that. Hello. Um, I mean, I don't like the style. The style doesn't suit me, I don't think. Um, so that's one thing, and that may be why I don't like them nearly as much. But whether it was ugly style but good quality, I'd still, I would still promote the product. I'm not going to diss a product that I think is good. Or even if I don't like the style... I'm not going to diss the product for its quality. I don't like the style, but I hate the, I hate, and that's a huge word, I, I really strongly dislike the quality of these glasses. So this part's like a silicone, right, plastic, which isn't bad, it's soft on your nose, that's fine. 
bendy, 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 bendy plastic, plastic. So that's one pair of glasses. All right, the second pair of glasses. Again, box. Barely wanted to open. Box, whatever, case. Yeah, we all know, great quality. And that's the scam. Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> Ow. So I went on their um, Instagram page, and they have 51 point whatever thousand followers. And I looked at one of the pictures that were these glasses. These glasses are 50 bucks? Girl, 50 doll hairs? Really? As soon as I put them on, they cut my skull open. It rattles. I don't even know what part of it is rattling. The nose part is plastic. Like, it's not, I don't even know if it's like part metal. It's plastic. It just, it could snap right off in like the easiest amount of effort. Plastic. Crap. Not good not good quality. It's really upsetting because it's such a waste of plastic and a waste of good packaging. So that is the second pair of glasses. The third pair of glasses. <laughs> oh, oh, don't fall over. There we go. Again, beautiful case. Props, because a lot of expensive stuff has just personally bad packaging. But then, it's not about the packaging. It doesn't matter about the packaging. It matters about what comes in the package. And what we, as consumers, or even brand ambassadors, are buying. These are the third pair of glasses. So for one, again, I don't like this style. This, the, the width between here makes me look like I have a gigantic bridge on my nose. Gives me unibrow. Makes my eyes look really far apart. The edges are soft. Uh, they're rounded. They aren't rigid or anything, but, okay, that's not, that's not, uh, 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 like, <laughs> for, you know, 50, 60, 80 dollar glasses, why am I popping the lens out with no effort? There's nothing holding the lens in except for, like, maybe some tightness. <laughs> Guys, those are ruined. Um, also with these two, uh, when I opened them, well actually my mom opened these when we left the post up. Can I help you? My mom opened those ones and when she was trying to put it back into the plastic bag, she didn't realize that there were two openings on either end. So it's a good thing that they weren't actually expensive because the lenses have like indents from falling on the cement. So, but you know, I mean it's unfortunate that they're not good quality, but at least, you know, I didn't wreck $60 glasses. The fourth and last box. 
Opening, opening. Yada, yada, yada. Stuff we've already been through. Oh, hey, look. Plastic. These, this is what I was talking about, where it's been protected so that it's soft and doesn't gouge you into the side of the head and leaving you bleeding. Huh. I don't actually mind the way that... I don't mind the way that these look. I'm checking myself out, don't mind me. I don't mind the way that these look, but they kind of look like they're more aviator style, and I'm used to the way that... No, don't wreck these. I like these. No, 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 no. Here. Here. Look at those. Ooh. <sighs> yeah, I don't mind the way that these, these look. I'm kind of more used to the style. I like... The like ombre purple to or uh, pink to purple. Those, that's kind of cute. Um, I'm not. I mean, I think I would. Rather... Uh, <laughs> I think I would rather silver just because of my my complexion. But these are ones that I would actually wear. They're not like too uncomfortable considering my like ears are not even and so usually one sits like too much on my cheek mm. but again I'm not gonna try to bend these too much because these are actually ones that I would wear but these are like five dollar glasses you find at the dollar store and that there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with these glasses if I spent five bucks on them. But I didn't spend five dollars on them. I spent sixty to eighty dollars on glasses that really for four should have been twenty bucks or ten bucks. Some of these glasses. The money that I spent, really what it went towards was the packaging. And that's unfortunate because you know, when you sell a product, what matters is what is in the product. Like, Abella, let's just have a little heart-to-heart -heart you and I for a second. Kudos on the packaging. Kudos on the boxes. Beautiful. I'll put my nice glasses in here. Maybe I'll give some glass case... Glass... Glass glass cases away because they're decent quality and I think that they would protect glasses quite well. But the glasses, the things that people are actually buying show up and they're horrible quality. I, these people that are posting pictures in these glasses, either you're sending them good quality stuff or, you know, everybody needs money so I don't blame them. But I just can't have my name attached to um, a company that's going to go down in a year or so because eventually, with the amount of people that will buy your product, they'll make a review, especially brand ambassadors. The brand ambassador program, they buy their product, or brought, sorry, they buy your product or a product so that they can review it and they can help promote you and help your sales but if they're growing as um, w they're growing a platform for themselves so they can review products or they can give advice or whatever it is they're not gonna want their followers and their viewers to go you know believe them and believe what they're saying about these glasses go and spend the money get the product and realize that they're phonies People are not going to promote your glasses, promote whatever product that you may be selling when they come like this, when they're disappointing. Because these aren't even, so, like, these aren't, 
I wouldn't spend five dollars on these. And that may be just be because I don't like the style. But just personally, I would not spend five dollars. I'd spend five dollars maybe on these. I'd spend two dollars on these. There's no, there's no weight to them. There's no substance to them. If you want to make money, if you're a company and you want to make money, good products. You could send these glasses to me in a paper bag and I would not care if the product was good. If the product was good quality because it's not about what they come in or how they look at the end of the day. It matters if the quality is good and the people want to wear them, the people want to promote them. That's how you build your business. You don't build your business on crap stuff. I don't know. That's just a bit of tea for you. So I wanted to film this video for those of you who are trying to build their platform on social media and want to become a brand ambassador because I think it's a great opportunity. You find brands that you really love and you promote them and you get 15 you get 15 20% commission off of the you know off of the products that people use your promo code at least that's all that that's as far as my knowledge goes for becoming a brand ambassador or being sorry a brand ambassador and how you make your money um but those of you on the first stages of those of you in the first stages of building your building your brand on Instagram or Twitter or whatever it is I really, I just, I really hope that you avoid Abella eyewear. You you, you research things because I didn't research it until after I had paid for it, and then I was like, oh, maybe I should do some research. And when I looked on YouTube, all I saw was scam, 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 scam. Hey, 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 that's too much. Okay, you need to settle down a little bit, please. All I saw was scam, and it's like, hey. There seems to be a theme going on. Shh, settle down. You just had a nap. There seems to be a theme going on here. Um, shoot. Hopefully, it, you know, hopefully I get good product, but that's not what happened. So I want to save you guys a few bucks and just a bit of insight on my journey of brands that I've been working with. Really do your research on the brands and make sure that there is a huge standing behind them of legit people. Go to the YouTubers that you love and even even ask them. Ask them because they will. The YouTubers that like to review products ask and that you trust, ask them to review a Bella Eyewear or ask them to review hair extensions or clothes or whatever it is that you're looking into. Ask them to purchase, ask them to review, and hopefully they will. And if you trust what they have to say, listen to it. I mean, I know that you guys don't quite know me yet, but I'm not here to scam you. I'm not here to set you in a bad direction. I want you guys to thrive, and I want you guys to succeed, and this is not the way. You're not going to make money from it, and... At the end of the day, whether you promote these or not, if your name gets stuck to them, you're going downhill. That's just the truth. So, that's really all I had to say today. I hope that you guys have heard what I had to say. I hope that you were able to see the quality of the glasses on the video. On the video. Whatever. I'm tired. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I hope you guys were able to actually see the quality. I know sometimes it's hard to see um, on the screen, but it's not good quality. I promise you that. Even my mom was like, you really shouldn't promote these. I'm like, yeah, you're, you're right. I really shouldn't, and I'm not going to. I'd promote it if it was good. I promise you that because it benefits me. It ben benefits me to promote a product that I believe is good, and I don't believe this is good. 
and hopefully they work on it. Hopefully they learn that to have a business, to have it for a long time, to have people coming back for more, you make good product. But people like to scam, and they make money that way because we're easy to scam. Well, I'm easy to scam because I trust people way too much. But anyway, that is all that I had to say in the video. I want to thank the subscribers again because that means the world. And I hope that you guys like this video and I hope that you learn from this video. And for the people that aren't subscribers, welcome. I would love for you to subscribe. Uh, blah, blah. I would love for you to subscribe. Subs oh my goodness. I'm not even going to edit that out just so that you guys know that I can't actually talk. So for future videos you're prepared. <laughs> um, I would love for you guys to subscribe. You don't have to. I'm not going to force you. You like the video, please like the video. If you've had a similar experience, please comment. If there's brands that you have tried to work with that's quality is not good, I would love the I would love the warning. So if you can post that and if you guys want me to maybe purchase and review some of these products, let me know because I will. I would love to. So we're going to say bye, and maybe I'll try to have her nap longer, because she's a little monster. A little monster. A little monster. Okay. Love you guys. Thanks so much. Have a great day.